Hi, this is Steve Jones with Jetters Northwest. And this video is gonna be a bit of a continuation of a previous video where we talked about resistance makes pressure. So let's kind of call this part two. Um, it would help for you if you haven't seen it yet or to review, click on the link here and watch part one. And just to review what that was, basically we had a 12 gallon a minute jetter, 3000 PSI system. And we showed how with the properly set nozzle, as far as set, I mean orifice size, and with half inch hose, we were getting a true 12 gallons a minute into the line for cleaning, but we stepped down to a 3 8 inside diameter hose and it created more resistance, which forced some of our 12 gallons a minute back to the tank. So in that video, you'll see um, what happened was with the 3 8 hose, we had 10 gallons a minute going into the pipe and about two gallons a minute going back to the tank. So what we're gonna talk about today is how to compensate for that to get that two gallons a minute back, get it through the hose and out the nozzle to do cleaning. Because again, we, when you buy a jetter, you pay for flow, you pay for gallons per minute. And there's no sense in having some of it just pushed back into the water tank uselessly. So as we'll set up again here in a moment, we'll show you how it should look correctly when you're throttling up and your pressure come up in together. And we'll show you that next. Okay, we're all set up here with the hose and nozzle in the pipe. We've got a four inch pipe, half inch hose coming off our machine. And I'm using a warthog nozzle again. So the orifices or the holes in the nozzle are set just right so that our throttling and our PSI will come up together and both reach maximum at the same time. So I'll have maximum throttle, which is flow, and maximum pressure, PSI on the gauge. So let's fire it up and you can watch the gauge come up as I throttle up. Giving the unit a moment to settle in. Okay, at this throttle point, we're at about 1500 PSI. I'll start touching up the throttle. Climbing over 2000. Maximum is 3000. Now I'm at full throttle, right at 3,000 PSI. So there again is an example of it being correct. RPM or throttle came up at the same time and maxed out at the same time that our PSI did. So as you're running your jetters, you can play with this, watching your gauge as you throttle up and down. Um, what's very common is nozzles are undersized. What I mean by undersized is not how big the nozzle is, but how big the holes are. And again, not how many holes there are, just the orifice size all added up. If those are too small, you're going to hit full pressure before you hit full throttle. And if you give it any more throttle, if your machine has an unloader or bypass valve like this does, all that extra throttling, which is extra flow, is just gonna get sent back to the water tank. If you have a jet that doesn't have an unloader regulator valve, it has like burst discs, you've experienced this. You hit full pressure, you throttle a little too much, and boom, it blows your burst disc. Okay, that's an example of a nozzle that's orifices are undersized. Now, if you're using a mini hose, a small hose, of course that's going to happen because little quarter inch hoses or eighth inch hoses are not designed to get, like on this jet or 12 gallons a minute through them. They just don't. They're made for cleaning small pipe. But when, for like this example, you're using half inch hose or three eighths hose, if you're throttling up and reaching full pressure before you're getting to full throttle, you are losing water. And you need to get a nozzle that has bigger jets to allow for that extra flow to come out. So I'm gonna give an example here. I'm gonna hook up to the end of this hose into this reel that has 200 more feet of three eighths hose. So it's stepping down a hose size plus adding 200 feet of length. And I'll show you an example of throttling up and hitting full pressure before I hit full throttle. Okay, we're back and we're all set up with the 3 8 inch hose connected. So again, we have our half inch hose. We've taken the nozzle off and connected the hose into, we call this a dolly reel, two wheel dolly. And there's 200 feet of 3 8 hose, which is the next size down in diameter. Uh, we put the warthog nozzle on the 3 8 hose and inserted it in the four inch sewer. So what I'm gonna show you here is I'm gonna start the engine and throttle up and you're gonna see my pressure is gonna to increase to maximum before my throttle increases to maximum. Now when I continue the throttling, 
that's just going to send water into bypass back to the tank. So let's fire up. Just going to let it build up a little bit before I throttle up. It's at 2,000 PSI. When I was just running half inch shows at idle, I was hitting only 1,500. Now I'm at idle hitting 2,000. So I'll start to throttle up. There I'm at full pressure, 3,000 PSI, but I haven't hit full throttle yet. So I keep throttling up. There I'm at maximum throttle. So as you see that, what happened there? I hit 3,000 PSI, and as I gave it a little more throttle, I hit maybe another 100 PSI, which basically that is called unloader spike. It was that extra 100 PSI that was needed to push that extra water back to the water tank over the unloader valve. Essentially, I didn't get any more flow as I throttled up. I didn't get any more flow back through the nozzle. I just sent extra flow to the water tank. Again, we don't want that. We want to get that water out the nozzle. So what we're going to do next is I'm going to change the orifices in the warthog to compensate. I'm going to open up the holes in that warthog nozzle so that I can get that flow all the way into the sewer so it can do some cleaning. Okay, so what I've done now to compensate for the extra resistance of the 3 8 hose, I've put larger orifices in my warthog nozzles. Specifically, I've taken out 057 jets and I've put in 063s. And now we'll put it in the line and you'll see that again, I'll bring pressure and throttle up equally because I've got my nozzle set right. We'll fire it up, let it settle out before we throttle up. It settles out about 1500 PSI like we did the first time without the 3 8 hose. I just go ahead and bring the pressure up with the throttle. You can see they're increasing about the same time. There's full throttle and there's full pressure. So we got it right. Our PSI and our throttle ramped up equally. So again, in review, since we've got our throttle and our PSI to come up equally, that means we're getting pretty much all of the water flow out that nozzle, and we're not wasting water by sending it back to the water tank. So again, as you review your nozzles and review your jetting, if you see yourself not coming up to full pressure, well, that means either your orifices are too big, or your pump is not putting out, or your valving in your system is losing water back to bypass. But what we're really talking about here is the more common thing is that nozzles are not compensating for pressure drop of hose. Because again, resistance makes pressure. And I don't care whose machine you have, pushing water through hoses creates pressure. We could put on big, big hoses that don't create any resistance, but then they would never move through the line because they're too big and inflexible. It's always having that nice balance of the biggest hose you can get that will flexibly move through the pipe as you need it to. And in this exercise, kind of balancing between 3 8 hose and half inch hose, that's part of the point with a jetter that does in around 12 gallons a minute. Um, you will definitely get a little more performance with half inch hose, but there are those times when you've got to go into smaller lines and you really need the smaller hose. If you get your nozzling right, you'll get peak performance either way. Okay, appreciate you watching again. This is Steve with Jetters Northwest. Get out there and get jetting. Again, this is Steve Jones with Jetters Northwest. Thanks so much for watching today. Check out more of our videos on our YouTube site. Just search Jitters Northwest and check out our website, jittersnorthwest.com. Thanks again and happy jetting.